Grand Turk. This is a small island in the Caribbean that is a notorious bull lake to dock in. Either side of the dock was dredged deep enough for a big ship to get in, but those channels are thin. If you had too much side winds, the ship would blow into the shallows and run aground. The location of the dock is to the artificial beach a swimming distance. You could throw a tennis ball from the beach and hit this ship. The water was crystal clear with a hue of turquoise. It was only a short walk along the dock to the terminal building. And once you come out, you turn left and walk for five minutes till you reach the world famous Margaritaville. This establishment had a massive swimming pool which had two bridges crossing it. As you walk to the restaurant section, you pass the bar. Part of the bar was actually in the swimming pool. It was the restaurant section the Spaniard and I were most interested in as we wanted to attempt Trouble in Paradise Burger Challenge. This challenge was two pounds of burger with a fuck ton of cheese between each burger patty. It came with a pound of fries and a massive gherkin and you had to eat the whole lot in 15 minutes but you had to pay for it. And I didn't want to pay the $30 for it. The Spaniard and I were going to attempt the burger challenge together so we came up with a plan. We would stretch our stomachs at dinner time by eating two steak dinners. Then in the morning we would wake up early and have a big breakfast. This would then give us six hours to void our bowels ready for this monster burger. After breakfast I went back to my cabin and went into my cupboard and found a bottle of laxatives. I opened up the bottle and had a couple of chugs. I lay on my bed and waited for the, for the inevitable. It wasn't too long before I found myself sat in the Kazi. Lucky for me, I'd pre-planned this. Sat in my sink with a few tins of Red Bull with a bottle of rum and a pint glass. By the time the laxative had worn off, I'd already drank half a bottle of rum and flushed the toilet four times. I jumped in the shower and began to get ready. It was nearly noon and the Spaniard was at my door. This was good. We were both ahead of schedule, which gave us an excuse to get to shore and hit the bar. Within 20 minutes, we were off the ship and standing outside Margaritaville. There was a big group of people waiting to speculate. Word must have gone round the ship of our plan, as there was a huge mixture of shoppy jeethies, ents, musos and twirlies. The pressure was on now. The Spaniard and I had marched towards the restaurant area, followed by our curious entourage. We found a waitress and placed our order along with two jugs of frozen strawberry, strawberry daiquiris. The drinks come along rapidly as there was a massive group around us. The waitress sent out two barmen to attend the entourage. The food came in 15 minutes later. Once the plates were placed in front of the Spaniard and I, the waitress pulled up a chair and sat down. She pulled out an egg timer from her apron and set 15 minutes on the clock. Here are the rules, she said. You're allowed to rearrange the burger in any way you want before you start. Once you start the clock, you cannot pause. You are allowed as much sauce and as, water, as much water as you need to assist you. The final rule is everything on your plate must be finished within the set time. Are you ready? Both the Spaniard and I nodded. We both took a handful of food as the waitress said, go, and we began. I shoveled in a handful of chips into my gum, chewed and without swallowing, took another, but I took a large bite of the bun. Then the patty, then some cheese. The burger was so hot I could feel it scalding the roof of my mouth. I swallowed, then took bite after bite of patty, then bite of bun after each swallow. I refilled my trap as, with as many chips as, as my mouth could hold. Five minutes into the challenge, the first patty and half of the bun was devoured. I hit the chips hard but before I started the next cheese covered patty. I reached for the gherkin and chewed it down. I reached for my jug of daiquiri and took a short gulp. I didn't take too much daiquiri as it was quite filling. I just glugged enough to see the scold in my mouth. I picked up my second cheese covered patty and started to wolf that bad boy down. It was at this point I could feel beads of sweat dripping off my brow. As I was chewing I noticed the sweat pouring off my cheeks and dripping into my chips. I just about finished the second patty and started to feel myself getting full. This is not a good sign as I was halfway through the burger. I paused and let out an almighty burger. <laughs> I could feel the heat of the sun pounding on my face. It was hot, too hot, and the heat from the burger was not helping matters. I requested a jug of water from the waitress and she raised her hand. The barman ran over with a jug of ice cold water. I took a swig and then tipped the jug over my head. Water went everywhere and ice landed on my lap. I heard someone cheering from the crowd and I could hear someone shout, Eat motherfucker, eat! There were more chants from the crowd. Eat, eat, eat! I resumed eating. I started off chewing down the chips until they were all gone. It was just the last two patties and the rest of the bun to go. Eight minutes had now gone on the timer and I was feeling like a bloated, sweaty, fat cunt. Which, to be fair, I was relatively uh, fat in the gunt department. 
I picked up a third patty and began to eat. It became, it became difficult. Each cheesy meaty bite became a mission. I was slowing down. Each bite was becoming painful. I looked up and the Spaniard had thrown a towel in. He still had half his fries and two patties left. I pressed on and I finished a third patty. I had four minutes left and I wasn't sure I could finish the challenge but I pressed on regardless. I hated quitters and I would not quit. I removed the bun from the last patty. I picked up the bottle of ketchup and coated the shit out of the bread with thick red sauce. Jammed it in my gob and began to chew. I finally swallowed to the outside world. I looked in pain. I was. I picked up the final chunk of meat on my second bite and the, al and the alarm on the clock sounded. I ran out of time. Fucking ran out of fucking time. Motherfucker! What a cunt screamed my inner monologue as I dropped the uh, remainder of my burger. I now had to pay for my tasty but unenjoyable meal. I let out a ghastly bout <coughs> the dirtiest, worstest fart followed as the crowd dissipated. I looked at the Spaniard who was hunched over the table, cradling his food baby in his gut. I looked at the remainder of the crowd, picked up the remainder of the cheesy, chunky burger and stood up. I looked at everyone in the eyes as I shoveled the last of the burger in my gob and began to chew. My jaw was hurting, my guts were hurting, but I swallowed and finished the challenge. My personal best was 19 minutes and that was my target to beat for next time. I pulled out my wallet from my back pocket and unloaded $30 and dropped it on the table. The waitress gave me a hug for finishing the challenge and I gave her a $10 tip. There was a cheer from the remainder of the crowd. I left the restaurant area passing through the middle of the cluster of my peers. I received pats in the back as I passed through the crowd. I headed to the nearest sunbed and sprawled over to rest my weary aching body. As I lay in the basket sun, I vowed that one day I would return to beat the challenge. But that is another story.